King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to the King City Chronicles. Hey kids, Scoop Gibson here. Things have been pretty peaceful here in King City ever since the Redeem team locked up the Philistine. It's good to know that King City has two heroes to protect her from evil. And all the excitement sure helps sell papers. Oh, there's the hotline. Scoop here. What's that? The obliterator is getting out of prison? And he's promising to get revenge on scripture, guy? Thanks for the heads up. Wow, kids. The obliterator is back. I'd better put in a call to the Redeem team. Hello? Scoop? Scoop Gibson? Wow, that was fast. Kingdom Crusader, I'm glad you're there. King City needs you. Actually, that's why I'm here. I was coming to tell Scripture Guy that I'm quitting. What? Quitting? But why? Well, I just feel like I'm not cut out for crime fighting because Scripture Guy is so powerful and full of muscles and I'm small and weak. Well, we all start out that way. Huh. Even King David had small beginnings. King David? But the Bible says that he was a man after God's own heart. That's true. But he started out as a simple shepherd boy. Huh. That's when David learned to trust God. Well, the Lord is my shepherd. Amen. We call God our shepherd because he watches over us and protects us. Hmm. David had to protect his sheep from wolves. Wolves? For real? For real. That's part of a shepherd's job. Here, I'll get the good news and show you right now. All right. Huh. The Bible tells us that when David was just a young shepherd boy, he killed a lion that tried to attack his sheep. A boy killed a lion? That's hard to believe. Believe it. With God, all things are possible. But that was just the beginning. God was preparing David for a greater battle. David trusted in the one true God. Oh, okay. There was a greater battle still. David was about to face a giant. Oh, I think I've heard this one. Was the giant's name Goliath? Goliath. Oh, Goliath. He was over nine feet tall, as tall as the top of that railing over your head. Oh, And wow. every man in King Saul's army was afraid to face him. Except for David, right? David came to King Saul and said, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Huh. Your servant will go and fight him. Wow, David sure trusted God. He was really ready. God had prepared him. But King Saul didn't trust that God alone could protect David. Huh. So Saul put his own armor on David. But Saul was a full head taller than everybody in his village. And David was just a little boy. That armor must have been huge on him. I bet it was. David said he wasn't used to armor, so he took it off picked up five smooth stones, and grabbed his staff and a sling. Huh. He defeated a giant with just a staff and a slingshot? That's crazy. Even Goliath thought so. He said, am I a dog that you come after me with sticks? Huh. And then he cursed David. Oh, oh, don't tell me. I'm not allowed to hear naughty words. Well, I won't say the naughty parts. But okay. after that, Goliath told David, come here. Oh, did, did David run away? Of course not. Remember, God had prepared David to trust him. Oh, well, what did David say? He said, all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will huh. give all of you into our hands. Wow. And we all know how that battle ended, don't we? Oh, yeah, David picked up his slingshot and conked Goliath on the head with just one stone. David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Wow. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. Wow. David trusted God, and look what God did. <laughs> with God on our side, we can face giant battles. Huh. So, do you still feel too small and weak to protect King City? Nope. I may be weak and small, but God is all-powerful and will prepare me for any battle that I must face. So does that mean you'll stick around? Ah, you can't get rid of me that easily. I'm part of the Redeem team, and God chose me as his minister. I'm going to find Scripture Guy and tell him that I'm prepared to give everything to honor my king. See you, kids. There goes a man after God.
God's own heart. It's amazing what a little bit of scripture can do. See you in the funny papers, kids. Over and out. <laughs>